Good morning, everyone. Just checking myself out in the in the viewfinder because. <laughs> Welcome back to my house and the first video since everything happened. We got back a couple of days ago from our what was supposed to be our honeymoon, but just ended up being a bit of a, a bit of a sorrow fest. But we did enjoy ourselves and we made the most of it, so it was really, really good. Today I'm actually getting prepped for another trip, not a trip, we're going for a wedding, we're going for Vic and Alex's wedding. I'm obviously not going to be vlogging their wedding because that's theirs and not mine to share. But I thought I would pack with you what I'm taking and then also just show you my outfits whilst I'm there because I just thought I'd show you basically. <laughs> I'm also gonna get ready with you today. I'm gonna be trialing out the makeup that I'm gonna do for their wedding. And so I thought that we could have a little bit of like a catch up and just have a bit of a chat about everything and do my makeup with you. So I thought that'd be quite good. Lumi is staring at me from the window. Bless her. She has totally like just, it's so bizarre. We'll get to that, we'll talk about it anyway. But I, I'm currently making my way through a load of washing. I desperately need to moisturize, my body is so dry. And yeah, gonna get myself organized, ready for our flight tomorrow. Okay, <sighs> so my dressing room is a little bit of a mess at the moment. Whenever I come back and unpack, it just becomes a bit of a mess. So it needs a huge sort out. So once I'm ready, that is my first port of call before I start packing. But I thought that I would do my makeup with you for the day. And seeing as I'm packing for another trip, I thought this was a really good video to do this with you because I can do my makeup with you, talk you through a little bit of a different look and also talk you through some products that I love as well. So for this little makeup tutorial, I have teamed up with World Duty Free at Heathrow and this is for their Destination Beauty campaign, which is a month long beauty festival that they're having at Heathrow World Duty Free. And basically they have developed five different makeup looks from five different destinations, basically inspired by each one of them. And I'm basically picking one of those looks and I'm gonna recreate it with you today using the products from the looks. I've gone for Dubai. I've actually never visited Dubai, but I really, really liked this particular look. It's quite fresh, quite glowy but also with a little pop of corally color. So I'm gonna be using some of my favorite pieces from Guerlain as well in this, but they do stock brands like by Terry, which I love. And the five looks are basically centered around certain brands. So like Shanghai is for Elizabeth Arden. So I'm gonna be using some of the skincare from Elizabeth Arden, like my SPF, just so that my skin is protected. So the Guerlain look is inspired by Dubai. I'll insert a picture of it on screen. L'Oreal Luxe is for Rio style. Estee Lauder is New York. Elizabeth Arden is Shanghai. And Shiseido is London, but I have gone for the Dubai look because it just was so typically me And I thought that as we're working through these products I can have a little bit of an update with you and just have a little bit of a chat basically and tell you about my morning and tell you what I've been up to This campaign isn't running at any other world duty free So this is exclusive to Heathrow and I will put all of the different products for all of the different looks in the description box down below You can do reserve click and collect at Heathrow as well So if you wanted to pick any of the items up you can do so on your travels wherever you're going on your holidays Or if you're traveling for work if you want to pick any of these bits up then you can so Let's get into it. Where is my SPF? So I'm using the Elizabeth Arden Great 8 8 Hour Defense. This is just to obviously protect my skin and keep me looking youthful. As I mentioned, World Duty Free does obviously have By Terry there as well. So if you wanted to get a little bit of a little bit of a discount on your By Terry stuff, then you can get it there. But they haven't done one of the looks. But obviously, I do always use a little bit of By Terry in my makeup routines, just because I haven't found anything that rivals the CC serum and the CC powder. So, you know, there we go. Right, let's get this on my face first. I'm loving my skin at the moment. It's always so nice when you have like that post-holiday glow and that is what I've got for my Bitha now. So I'm changing up all of my makeup for my next trip because I realized that a lot of my makeup wasn't matching my face when I was in Ibiza. So for this particular trip, I thought this would be a good idea. I'm going to use the Laure Guerlain primer as well. I've actually, this has to be like the most luxurious primer ever. And I usually only use a tiny amount of primer just like in my T-zone. So just patting it into like these areas. I'm gonna be using this with the Paro Gold. I can never say that if you remember from before. I love this foundation, but I can never say the name. You would have heard me say, I'm wearing Paro Gold and I just can't say it. 
it just doesn't roll off my tongue but I'm going to pop that in that area and then the foundation I'm using is power of gold but I think they've changed the packaging which is interesting so this is one of the ones with the new gold packaging here I'm just gonna put some pumps on there mix a little bit with my by Terry serum because that's what I always do just to give it a little bit of a, a glow injection This is a great like medium coverage foundation and I really like how it works on my pores as well. I've got really big pores so it's good at like creating a little bit of a blur which I really like. So I had a little bit of a wobble this morning and I'm going to try not to get upset but it's so weird. The house is so quiet. Obviously the workmen have finished. Ali is in London today for a fitting. Carrie is off work today for her own like personal reasons. So it's just me and Lumi in the house and it's just a bit of an experience. I can't lie. And one of the delivery drivers came and he dropped off a parcel and I thought, oh, I'll be helpful and I'll unpack it for Ali because it was for Ali. And I opened it up and I pulled it out and I saw something on Facebook recently and they're these like amazing prints of your pets but they turn them into like regal paintings and I told Ali a few weeks ago that I loved them and I wanted to get them done for the cats. He ordered them before Lynx's disappearance and they arrived today and I opened them and obviously I burst into tears because I wasn't expecting it and he's just so thoughtful and so lovely and I just and now I feel bad because it was supposed to be my Christmas present and I ruined it and also it's just sad in itself because it was of Lynx and so I had a bit of a wobble. I just want to know like at what point do you stop grieving for them? What's, what point do you stop like wishing that they're going to come through the front door even though he'll probably just come through the cat flap but you know, you know what I'm saying. It's just one of those things, isn't it? And it just knocked me for six. I just didn't expect it. And I'm sure this is going to happen a lot. Et voila. Now, this particular look doesn't actually have a concealer with it. And I always wear concealer. So I'm just going to use a NARS one. NARS is also available at World Duty Free as well, just in case. So I thought I'd give that a mention. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer in vanilla. And I use this one under my eyes. Just gives a nice bright look. So whilst that does its thing, I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzer. So I'm using the By Terry CC Powder. I'm using it in Sunny Flash as my bronzer, just to really, really glow it up, because this is all about the glow. That's why I chose this look, basically. Oh my gosh, that's my highlight. It's safe though, I think. Oh my gosh, I really need to just tidy up so that the stuff stops falling on the floor. That is that. So for my brows, I'm going to use the Guerlain Eyebrow Kit, which comes with a handy little brush to brush the brows up like so. And then it's got the little, the little brush on the end down there. I'm just using this colour here and I'm just brushing it into my brows. I don't want too much of like a perfect look, that's what I like about powder, is it's a bit more subtle and you can brush it through and it gives more of like a, a sort of blush, not a blush but like a, what's the word I'm looking for, like a shade rather than brush strokes. Give them a brush through. Like so. Now, where is my contour brush? I'm also going to give this a whirl. There we go, contour brush. I'm also going to use the eyebrow palette to contour my nose because this is the perfect shade or a shadow, basically. It's not too warm. That's one thing that I've always said, I hate warm contours, especially if you're contouring your nose because it just doesn't look right. Um, and then I take my foundation brush 
and I just buff it in. Just using the last of the Guerlain foundation that is on this brush and that is a great, great little trick, that one, if you're traveling to just keep things a little bit more minimal. You've got your eyebrows and your contour in there all at once, so that's a little handy one. Now that that is done, I'm going to use the Guerlain highlighter, which is a new one for me. This is just launched, so I've actually never used a Guerlain highlighter, so we're gonna find out how this goes. I'm very particular about my highlighters. I'm gonna use this down the bridge of my nose. It's a beautiful color. Ooh. Do you know what? That's a really nice natural colour. It's not too white. Let's check it out. That's really nice and natural actually. Because I'm kind of over like really intense highlight. I actually barely wear it anymore. It's usually either something similar in colour to this. Just blend it in a little bit more. Or I use the NARS Capri highlighter, which is really nice. I'm just going to set everything with the Paro Gold, <laughs> it's never gonna get old me saying that, mist. Again, this is a new one from Guerlain. Lovely, looking nice and fresh there. Now, eyes. As you will know, I am a huge lover of the Guerlain eyeliner wherever it is. I've got about 50 of them because I stock up because I just use them every single day. And it is my one-stop shop. Here we go. This is my very, very used one. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do really, really gentle flicks. Nothing too much. Very in line with my own style. Just here. At the moment, I'm just kind of, I'm feeling like exhausted by the whole thing because I just want answers and we just don't have any. And it's really frustrating not knowing what happened to Link. Sorry if I've just jumped from conversation to conversation there. So I feel like I'm in limbo. Yeah, I'm living in hope for a cat that no one has seen. And literally when we walk through our village, everyone's like, we're still keeping an eye out for, for Link's for you. And it's like, how can, how can he have just disappeared? But yeah, so Ali's a bit angry at me at the moment because I opened my Christmas present. But I'm angry at myself more than anything because I've just upset myself, so there you go. Mascara-wise, I'm just gonna use a little bit of a little bit of by Terry. Ignore me. Oh, Annie. Oh no. Oh. He's not mad at me anymore. He said, I'm sorry, I should have said don't open my parcels. Oh, he said he's coming home soon. Honestly, that boy, I would have been, it makes me emotional talking about him now because yeah, he's just my everything. And I feel like I've never really said anything like that on my channel, but I'm so grateful for him. This is hands down my most favorite liquid eyeliner ever. It is so black, so glossy. It just always looks beautiful, I love it. It's this one, by the way, this little one. It's expensive, I think it's about 30 pounds, but so worth it in my opinion. Quick slick of mascara, but yeah, so the thing that I'm just really struggling with at the moment is just being happy. Like, you just really do realize, like, oh, I just took happiness in so much, so much stuff and, and just everyday life, you have no idea how happy you are. And then something comes and it just knocks you for six and you're like, my world was just so happy, so happy. I was so blessed and I am still so blessed. But right now, like, my, my joy in my heart just, even like, I used to just love lighting candles and, pumping pillows and being in my house. And honestly, for a while, coming home was horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous. Right, I've got a couple of, a couple, I've got like five, of the, what are they called, My Rouge lipsticks. Now, this one, I think, 
cool. Wow, I think we're gonna go for that one. I have just found from their new collection, uh, Kiss Kiss Liquid in L300. That looks right up my street. I'm gonna whack a little bit of lip liner on. I'm gonna go with this one because this is sort of the pop of color that the Dubai look has. So I'm gonna use this and I love these lipsticks so much. Like they are just stunning. They come in so many different styles. I've got like four different ones here. I've got the rose gold one, which they've got a little mirror on them and they're just so handy to throw in your handbag and also just such a beautiful little statement piece. So yeah, I'm just gonna line my lips quickly and put this on. I always have to line my lips because I am terrible at stuff like that. So I'm just gonna use a MAC lip liner, which is the one I use all the time, which again, you can pick up at World Duty Free. Now, let's do it. I have actually ruined this one though. Look, I've like smushed the end. So this is a gorgeous, like, corally red. Corally pinky red, I think. Oh, I love it. And it's still very me, but yeah, I've used some different products on my face and also trying something a little bit different, but this lipstick is gorgeous. I'm loving this highlight as well. Oh, the Para Gold collection is just so, so nice. So nice. I love it on my skin. So I'll pop all of these items that I've used on my face in the description box down below. And also don't forget to make the most of Destination Beauty at Heathrow World Duty Free because there are just so many amazing brands and so many amazing looks and you can just pick up so much beauty stuff there. Seriously, when I go to World Duty Free at Heathrow, I, I don't even need beauty stuff, but I always end up buying stuff, whether it's from Dior or whether it's from like Armani or anything like that, I always pick stuff up. So it's a really good place to fill your beauty boots if you're a beauty lover like I am. I'm gonna get my hair done now and try and get organized and start packing because, oh my gosh, and I'm taking this lipstick with me. Next load of washing is going on. Whilst I try and sort out the mess in my dressing room. I'm leaving my hair like this for a while because I just love this scrunchie. It's from Jennifer Bear, Bear, Bear. Oh, I never know how to say things, but I will link it in the description box down below because it's so cute. I'm just trying to get everything sorted. But do you ever have one of those days where you you just feel like your head doesn't really work. I feel like I'm having that day where I'm like telling myself to do things, but like nothing happens. I just feel very, very spaced out today. I can't wait till Ali gets home because I feel better when he's at home because I'm obviously in the house by myself at the moment and I don't know, it feels better when he's here. I've just whitened my teeth with some new whitening strips. God, they look really white, don't they? Wow, that's made such a difference. Holy hell, was not expecting that. Huh, I just tried the Spotlight Whitening White Strips and I've used whitening strips before but from different brands and they're good, but wow, that's like, I, I can't stop going like, wow, I feel like I'm on like a toothpaste advert. Wow. Huh. Yeah, I've been sent them to try and I've just used the first one. The, the one thing I'd say as well is that they're better than the Crest ones that I used to use because the Crest ones, they like slide around on your teeth. These really like stick. Don't think I was in focus then, sorry. But yeah, these ones really like stick on your teeth. So you leave them on for an hour and then you just, I've just been hoovering. Yeah, God, wow. I use those again, they are so good. Huh. I also used toothpaste afterwards and that was really nice as well. You're gonna take it away with me. Anyway, I'm gonna stop admiring my teeth now. <laughs> Lumi is being a bit of a weird one today. I just, I was hoovering down. Oh, you're back in your seat, are you? I was just hoovering downstairs and I heard this like flop. So I thought I'd come upstairs and check on her and she had moved down there and she was just lying flat down there. Are you all right, love? Are you okay? Are you okay? It's a weird day today, isn't it? It's a weird day. I would say that today is the, the weirdest day that I've had. I've just gone down to my office and I'm like hoovering up and cleaning and stuff like that and I've gone down there and he would always, because my office always has people in it, he would always be down there. He would always be sat, well, sleeping on the, the sofa in my office. He would always be there. And so like all of his fur is still there and literally Lumi would never sleep there. So it's all just his fur and it's still just there. And 
it just makes me sad. It really makes me sad. <laughs> Sorry for going on about it in this video. I, like, this is the thing that's so weird is that, you know, it's like all I can picture is him coming home and what that would feel like. And, you know, is that ever gonna happen? Or is this gonna be my life now? Like, I keep thinking that. It's one of those days, it's just obviously one of the, the bad days. And I'm sorry that I'm filming it. I'm sorry. I've been really longing out this packing today. I don't know why I've been so unproductive, but I'm gonna get to use these packing cubes that arrived the other day. I'm going on a trip with Laura Mercier next week and these came with their PR gift. These are amazing, they're so good. These ones are for your shoes, then this one is for your lingerie, this one is for your accessories, and then they had these ones inside, which I love because I am such a like, I have to have things in sections. So all my clean stuff can go in there afterwards, then stuff that gets messy, but then I'm dirty. Yes, oh, I love putting like my dirty clothes and stuff in things so that they're not like contaminating the rest of my stuff. But yeah, these are just gonna be really useful to organize things and keep everything like in its place. So I'm really, really happy about that. Especially this accessories one, so good. And underwear as well. Oh, this is just making my organization loving person inside of me really happy, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna start by sorting out some underwear. I've got a lot of underwear downstairs that I've just washed from Ibiza, but I've still got other pairs as well. So I'm going to pack some bras. I don't know whether you will have seen, but I announced my partnership with Intimacy Me, which is so, like, it's just unreal. I'm gonna put you down here. Because if you know, like for ages, I always say like, oh, I just wear vests. That's not because I want to wear vests. I'm a 31 year old woman. I want to wear nice underwear. And I could never find bras that were, oh, <laughs> he's calling me today. When I answered the phone, he was like, okay, I'm gonna stop calling you now. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a 31 year old woman. I want to wear nice underwear, but I could never find underwear that I find comfortable or that I could find that was nice and fitted properly. And I have now found that. Now I don't really wear underwire bras. I don't really like them. I like t-shirt bras, but t-shirt bras usually come in like small, medium and large and sizes like that, which just is no help for me. I spoke to the people at Intimacy Me and before we obviously agreed to do any kind of partnership and they sent me out a selection of their like bras and underwear and so I'm usually like a 28 double F. They suggested that I went for their 34B in their triangle bras and they are a perfect fit. I'm literally wearing one now. Now, the reason why this is such a revelation for me is because Wearing a vest in summer is not ideal, first of all, because you get really, really hot. But I do feel uncomfortable when like my um, like nipples show through a top. Cause I, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't, it wouldn't bother me if people didn't stare. Like when you're stood there in like, yeah, it's just there. So that's why I like these bras because it stops that from happening mostly. It definitely minimizes it a lot more. And that's why I prefer to be able to wear bras. I did have like nipple covers, but you get one wear out of those. That's such a lot of waste and it's expensive. Like they are so expensive. And sometimes through your tops, you can see big flowers on your boobs. Okay, I'd rather someone saw a little bit of lace than big flowers on my boobs. So these are like literally, I, I sleep in these now. I wear this as like, so these, hold on, wait, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I'm showing you my underwear. But it's because I'm packing it up. Well, I've got this pair on, this is a new pair. But I've got this pair on with the matching bra. And they are so comfortable that I can sleep in them. And that is a godsend. And I know so many of you love the brand as much as I do. So I did want to mention it here. And I've got, literally, I've just cleared out. I've got the black ones. I've got the white ones which white I don't tend to get so much wear out, but they're good to have anyway. All of the matching underwear. Literally, I have so many pairs now, and they're on my drying rack downstairs. Like, literally, this is all I wear now. So I've got some new bits to put in my case and in my lingerie little pouch, but I wanted to tell you about it because I think that sometimes just because someone hasn't mentioned something, it doesn't mean that they don't love it. Like all situations are different and I don't have to have used something for years to be able to tell you that I love something. And literally when they sent me these, I was like, you've just rocked my world. This is incredible. So yeah, I wanted to like tell you about that because for me, this is, 
this is game changing, okay, game changing. So yeah, I'll link the Instagram post where I announce my partnership with them and I'll also link to my favorite bras and matching pants because it's so nice to have matching pants and bra. So yeah, let's get back in. each other like that so I reversed that image of him. Oh you could like choose. Well I don't know I just knew that they'd be forced to do it a certain way right. and turn their head a certain way so I didn't ask. Do so you see what they look like in the living room? Yeah. And when you move him she will show. Oh. <laughs> so good. Come to see your work of art going up on the wall. Wow. What do we think? What do you think, Lummy Bear? Do you think? I quite like them there. I do think that they're like obviously out of the way down here. Yeah. But I do like them there. They do look really good. So, apologies for my skin looking quite oily. I've got Luna from Sunday Riley on my face. I've just taken all my makeup off so that I can get my skin feeling good and give it a bit of a rest. I'm gonna get a big pint of water as well, but I'm packing, I'm packing, I'm still packing. This is the, what's it called, retrofit dress that I wore in Ibiza. This was actually purchased to wear the first evening of Vic and Alex's, so I'm going to wear it for that as well. Then this is my gorgeous dress from a brand called Bronx and Bianco or ba Blanco, something like that. I got it from Revolve, a little bit higher than I envisioned it would be, but it's got this really nice cutout detail. I did have to have it tailored so that it fit me properly because it was a bit loose around the waist, but now it fits like a dream. So I'm really, really excited to wear that because I've not worn it yet. And it's just such an amazing dress. So it goes all the way to the floor. See, it's like a proper rah-rah dress. So I'm packing those. And I'm packing backup outfits as well, just in case like the weather changes and I want to be warm and also bikinis and travel outfits and stuff like that. So it's all getting packed as we speak. Good morning, everyone. Today I've got an incredibly busy day. We are actually heading out flyering for links. I've also filmed a whole load of videos this morning, so I kind of need to just get on with my day. But I thought that I would open up some of the packages that arrived whilst I was on holiday with you. I thought that would be a good idea to do. So yes, I'm gonna unpack those. I've got like, they're just from here, there and everywhere, but they're just some pieces that I fell in love with. And two items actually came into stock that I didn't think were gonna be in stock for a while. So I was really happy to pick those up. They sold out instantly, but I'll see if I can find some other colors in stock. And then yeah, once I've gone through these packages, unfortunately, 
I'm going to have to love you and leave you because we are going flying for links and that is top of the list now. So let's get cracking in my parcels. I'm just hoping that that wasp goes out the window. Go on. Go on, go on, go on. Oh, it's gone. Yay! Oh, no, no, it hasn't. No, it hasn't. Oh, it's literally where I want to sit. Come on. Oh, it's on my bulgari bag. Oh, there's two. Oh, I'm not okay with this. Okay, desperate times, people, desperate times. You're almost out, come on, you're, no! So, I've got packages here, one of which is PR, but I think that you'll love to see it, I'm excited. This one is from Farfetch. I have had some vouchers for Farfetch for over, like, two years, I think, that I just haven't used because I haven't found the right thing that I wanted. And this came into stock on there, and I really liked the colour of it, so I'm going to see. I'm not sure on the size, so I've got it in a different size as well. This is such a Marmite purchase as well. Not everyone is loving the return of Bottega Veneta, but this is from New Bottega. Ooh, totally unnecessarily packaged in a plastic bag. I'm sure you can guess what this already is. I loved. Oh, ooh, oh my god. Oh, I can't keep both. I can't. So this is a nude, of course, nude plaited leather Bottega bag. This is the like must have bag at the moment. Now this one doesn't have a strap. This is just a clutch bag, kind of like this. Oh my god, it goes with my outfit so perfectly. I love it. So this is the bigger version and I think this is already sold out on Farfetch, but I will see if I can find it. I love the class closure of this. Love it. So nice. Oh, and the leather is beautiful. This is actually my grandma's favorite designer label. She has quite a few pieces from Bottega and I am loving the new take on the brand. So I, yeah, I totally fell for this. I love it. It's the It bag and I love it. So I purchased that one. This one is from Louisa Viaroma. They also had their restock. And I also got a pair of shoes as well. Some shoes that I had been eyeing up for a while. They are from Manolo Blahnik. And I thought these, oh, yes. So I obviously wear my Christian Louboutin shoes, which are sort of like barely their heels. Well, these are even more barely their heels, but with a little bit less of a heel on them. So I wanted to try these out. These have a sort of plexi strap on them and I just thought this would look like you're not really wearing anything, which I really quite like. So I'll try those on and show you what I think. I'm hoping they fit. I hope I got the right size. Did I get the right size? Yes, 38. That's my normal size anyway. And then a little bit of a twist. So we've got another Bottega bag, but this is the black clutch. Now this has a little strap on it. So this can be worn cross-body or used as, oh, I really like both of them. Oh my God. I really like both of them. Because this is just so wearable and it doesn't have any hardware on it either, which can sometimes like be a little bit difficult when wearing bags if they've got hard, like silver hardware and you're wearing gold. I mean, I always mix my metals, but it can be a little bit of a like meh thing. So, Oh, oh, oh no, what do I do? <laughs> well, we'll try them on and see what we think. You'll have to let me know in the comments which ones you think I should keep. If I should keep both, you let me know. And then finally, seeing as I've made a hell of a mess, this arrived today from Erin and I, ooh, I just got a waft of something. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Oh, I love everything. Oh, oh. <laughs> so inside, this is a Scentsy Studio like basket bucket bag. And inside there are a lot of lemons and also the new Limon de Sicilia fragrance. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I'm wearing Amber Musk today. Oh my goodness. I mean, this is totally the wrong time of year for this because we're about to go into autumn, but 
that is beautiful. Oh my God, Carrie is gonna love this as well. We literally obsess over Erin fragrances. This is beautiful. And then I've also got the body cream. This is the most indulgent body cream ever. So I try and save this for special occasions, but oh. So good. So that was in my packages. Now we need to try and decide what we're gonna keep and whether we're gonna send stuff back. But thank you so much to Erin for sending me the new fragrance. You know that I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of the brand. So it's really exciting to be able to receive stuff from them. I was actually rushing then a little bit because I thought my battery was gonna die on my camera. Oops, <laughs> should have charged it. But I actually had one charged anyway. So I'm just gonna quickly tidy up this mess and see what we think of the stuff. Okay, you have to excuse my feet because I'm still sporting a few war wounds from my holiday. My Fendi slides completely tore my toes to shreds, but the shoes are everything that I could hope for. Really, really flattering. I think I'll probably wear these on my next few trips, but really, really nice. So, so happy with those. And they fit the dream. Perfect size, perfect amount of toe, and they look like I'm not wearing anything. I love it. So cute. Did I need another nude bag? Probably not. This will go so nicely with my new Max Mara coat though. And it just goes so well with my wardrobe. Oh. Oh, I really didn't want to want both, but I really do want both. Let's try it on with a coat. Oh, see? So cute. I mean, some people have said that it looks a little bit like a vagina, but... <laughs> <laughs> I really like it. But then this one will be so useful as well. I mean, I'll link both of them down below, whichever color they're in stock in, but this is just, because Leonie had the small one and I do really like the small size as well. Ooh, maybe I need to do a like Bottega styling video as well. I like the black though. I think at the very least the black has to stay because this is such a great bag to have. So versatile. I love it, I love it, love it. And obviously I've already got my scrunchie in my hair. <laughs> I am such a child with things. I'm literally like spraying the perfume on me straight away. I've literally got the shoes on. I just have to wear everything straight away because I'm just impatient. But I've got some really good things there. I'm really happy with those things. I, I thought it would be a bit more clear when I saw the bags, like which one I wanted to keep. So I might need to mull it over a little bit more. We'll see how we feel. Anyway, I've got stuff to do now, so I'm gonna love you and leave you for now and pick you up maybe when I'm back. <laughs>